Minuet in G by Beethoven. A fine example of the use of the interval of a third in the lead line of uh, piano repertoire. Uh, of course, that goes back a couple of hundred years almost, but we're going to talk now about the use of the interval of the third in many variations in the stride piano style. Uh, we had a comment today from a viewer that when I was talking about the term collapsing thirds, wasn't I really talking about collapsing fifths? Well, my point was that <clears throat> intervals that are larger than a third can collapse from opposite directions onto a third to create the piano figure that was used very commonly in stride piano. For example, in uh, Zez Confrey's Kitten on the Keys, uh, we collapse a flatted fifth onto a third. And with almost the same figure, we collapse a perfect fifth to a perfect fourth to the third in Fats Waller's Handful of Keys. Now in both those examples, we have the um, uh, uh, interval that is greater than the third coming from opposite directions, contrary motion, like we learned in old-fashioned music theory, uh, coming on to the third, creating the harmony that is the uh, uh, given harmony for that passage in in the musical uh, composition. Many ways that the third interval was used uh, can be illustrated by a couple of examples here. Uh, let's take Fats Waller's Jitterbug Waltz from 1942. Okay, now that first uh, time I played it was more like Fats played it with the single notes. The second time with the grace note was more like Art Tatum used to play it. But it's an example of the interval of a third uh, with the uh, one and the three being used alternately in, in a downward uh, pattern. Oddly enough, 30 years before that, we have uh, the great Lucky Roberts of the Harlem Shout style uh, coming up with a piece called Nothing, where he used the same figure in a march tempo uh, to create uh, an entirely different feel. So, by example, here goes nothing. Which is the same figure as... So there's two examples of the interval of the third being used in different ways uh, with almost exactly uh, the same notes. And we talked about the uh, intervals that precede the third in the stride piano figures. Um, here's an example from James Pete Johnson in the second strain of the Harlem Strut uh, where he takes a sixth to come to the third by way of the chromatic third before the third. So watch this. We got the sixth. We're going to the B and the G by way of the B flat and the D flat, the B and the D. of the one chord, we've got the uh, going on to the C, we have a fifth to the fourth to the third. Here we have a sixth to the third to the third, and they're different uh, patterns based upon the same idea uh, in order to uh, create the harmony that goes with the piece.
so it's the uh, instead of just playing the straight chords like I just did, uh, you create that device uh, that makes it an an appealing piano figure uh, that will serve as a lead line for uh, that second segment.